holding up out there, folks. Ah, our friends at NT Creates. Never steer us wrong. I love NT Creates. Frankly, I had no idea they were responsible for this game. But, I'm glad we're here. So, what is Speed Power Gun Bike? It's a game about speed and power, and you got a gun bike. That's about all I know. Hey, Kuribot. Good to see you. Yo!私は局地時代型自走砲弾ガンバイシリーズ通称ガンバイクに採用されているマザーナビゲーターですライダー候補生の教育担当を務めますガンバイクは高速移動を目的としたスピードバイクモードです安定性重視を目的としたアーマードラ
on Switch. And those games, frankly, have been teaching me to enjoy Metroidvania, or sorry, search action games again. And yes, this is Japan only, by the way. This is Japan only. But uh, yes, Blaster Master Zero. Um, my biggest problem with all of the current Metroidvanias is that they're... Oh, can I not hit this guy? I failed the tutorial. Need to get better at multitasking. Be streaming. Failure. Let's try that again. But the thing I like so much about those Blaster Master Zero games is that they are extremely bite-sized. They still have the search action game loop of navigating unfamiliar terrain, getting equipment, backtracking, etc. Um, and of course, staying true to the Blaster Master formula. But it's in a format that is less dense than more popular search action titles. And um, frankly, with my avail limited availability and my limited time, I mean, given how often I've been streaming, I don't really have a ton of time for a lot of stuff. Oh, is this one I had to do on the bike? Try it. Did I this on the bike? I, um... Oh. It just kicked me out of training. All right, you know, I've trained enough. Let's see. Ipe. Identity. Rider. Gungston. This bike is a Gungston composite. Ami. So you got Ipe and Ami. She is a power doll. Major Nount. This is ground control to Major Nount. <laughs> is, um... The... Uh, Squad leader. Also a Gungston composite bike. We'll get some stats. Gun power speed. Gun power speed. Oh, my bike has a gun on it? I guess it is called gun bike. Yeah, there is no time to get my gun bike license. I'm gonna have to hit the road. Let's stick with me pay. I am a novice. Ipe doesn't look old enough to drive out This presentation's good. One thing I do really appreciate about, about the pay, PlayStation 1 era... Let me try that again. One thing I really do appreciate about the PS1 era is Japanese developers, when they got Red Book Audio, they just went nuts. It was time for Red Book Audio music, voiceover, whatever. One problem with this game, 
Oh, is there a gear shift? There is. I don't know how it works, though. I don't know how that works, either. The control scheme in this game is a bit messy. I am not really grasping the controls very well here. Uh, there's something I was supposed to pick up. And I heard that there is a gun. I have not figured out how to fire the gun. So right now it's just speed power bike, fortunately. I have limited energy as well. Huh. This game does seem to be a little bit restrictive in what you can do. Maybe that's just a way that you're supposed to... It's supposed to rein you in and keep you on an arcade mission path. Driving the bike in a straight line is fun. Oh, until you get blown up. Compulsive restart. This game is hard. Yeah, I don't know. Turning, turning is not great. Oh. This is a mixed bag so far, I'm not gonna lie. Is it like a Chase HQ look? Oh. Yeah, see that? That's not good. When uh, <laughs> I'm ricocheting around the wall. Yeah, it's Road Rash style and they can get back on the bike. I still have not figured out how you shoot. Oh, ow. If there is a gun, I don't know how to use it. Yeah, they should do Gun Bike Zero for, uh, for Switch. Uh, it creates this. Oh, okay, that worked out in my favor, actually. Loco Cycle, I have not played Loco Cycle, no. Whoa. So it involves you, like, I, I switch into robot form, like, every once in a while, but... Only every once in a while. Uh oh, we got a tunnel. Some load management. Something is gonna be up ahead here. Oh, it's... Yeah, get out of my way. Wait, wait for the controls to click so far, and they have not clicked. I do like the scarf. The scarf is a brave... Or a, uh, not brave, a, um, Scarf is a time-honored tokusatsu tradition. Uh-oh. Is it robot time? Robot does smash. Smash good. So, okay, that energy bar is just a time bar. system too. Weird. You kind of just bump into stuff with the robot to blow it up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yep. It's the Chase HQ part, alright. That was cool. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. I think this might be it for me and gun bike. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know. This time meter is ticking pretty low. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Oh, have I just been missing time power-ups? No, oh, I think that's it for me. Oh, that's pretty cute. The little pause there. Yeah, I think that might be it. I might try this stage one more time. This is the saddest run back ever. 
I don't know how I top off that meter. I guess if you get a bad run, um, unless... Oh! Oh, I did it! Okay. Whew! I cleared the level somehow. So, it's a mixed bag so far. Transforming is fun. Transforming is fun. Smashing stuff when you're going into the bike and like dipping back into the robot and then back into the bike is fun. Um, physics are a mixed bag. Actual combat is unclear. And turning, particularly, is touchy. Let's judge it by this boss fight, though. These, rem these designs do remind me of, like, Virtual On or even early Armored Core. Do not have much in the way of G power. The enemy does have energy, though. Stopping this game is difficult. I cannot see. Yeah, camera is a little rough. Oh, I think attacking him from the head does not work. I instead have to attack him from. Oh, uh oh. Oh, thank you, Frost of Starman, or host of Starman, for following. I would appreciate. Oh, this is a little rough, yeah. There is no lock-on system as far as I can... Oh, okay, so I have to run into his knees, and then I have to navigate the camera. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, this is, uh... <laughs> this is rough. Oh, uh, it's too bad, because I really like everything else about it, but just actually navigating with this robot is not good. So I have two options. I can run slow as molasses and kind of, kind of make my way over to him. I can kind of whack him, but not really. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, this... Graceful is not a word I would use to describe this experience. And I'm probably... I'm probably hosed. And like, there's this... But it's not particularly helpful because the warm-up and the cool-down are so... It's, it's extremely touchy. I heard a gun gun of some sort. And frankly, the, the camera... Just navigating to the boss so that I am able to attack its weak point is a great challenge. By the time I am able to navigate around to its weak spot, it has already stood up. That's uh, too bad. I wonder what people think of this game on the internet. I am not able to do any real damage. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm really just, I'm kind of getting motion sick playing this. It's really amazing. It's one of those deals where, I guess, they were doing their best to figure out what a 3D camera should feel like, and it should not feel like this. I'm probably going to move on from gun bike after this, frankly. I'm getting, I'm getting a little ill. If I gotta continue, I'll give it one more go. But, um... You all over? That's for sure. Well, nice to meet you too, gun bike. That's too bad. I, um, I'll give it one more go, see if I can fight this guy. Yeah, the controls are just way too touchy and like stiff and unresponsive, really. Um, I might be able to pull this off, but I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm playing this game the way it wants me to play it. I don't know what that way is. Considering I failed the tutorial, you shouldn't be able to fail a tutorial. I don't think. I think that's kind of an indictment. Um. Oh, okay, I'm getting some smashes from the back. myself constantly swapping in and out of gun and gun bike and robot modes to uh, land some hits on them. And I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do damage. Uh, circle the arena bike mode and go for the big hits with the next charge attack when there's no openings. Okay. That's kind of what I've discovered, but I don't think in the way that the game wants me to. And considering I can't really... A lock-on would make this game so much better. Uh, the fact that they do not have a target lock-on is um, kind of a shame.
I can just maneuver around. <laughs> this is uh, uh, words cannot describe how frustrating this experience is. But we're almost done, one way or the other. Can't spell angry without energy. That's probably it for Gun Bike. Um, it's been it's been real. It's been fun. The presentation's good, but it hasn't been real fun. Uh, this gets a solid avoid for me. Um, just just the addition of Lock On would make this game a lot more playable and a lot more enjoyable. Um, but that's the curse of the early PS1, isn't it? These things just weren't locked down yet. Um, before I make myself too sick. Well, so long, gun bike. Um, glad to know Inti Creates got a little better in the future. <laughs> we'll be right back with our feature of the night. Hit first.